Hi everyone, you welcome back on Nikki's Thoughts. Um, today we have um, a new series. I've, I told us we have a parented series and I will be talking um, today. So we have a guest here. Uh, <laughs> her name is, um, I, I'm, I'm going to let her to introduce herself um, later on. But what we want to do today is to actually talk about parenting and compare the parent, our own parenting style to your own parenting style and um, anyway so, so you will learn from us uh, stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't done so so let's introduce our guests for today um um you're welcome back here yeah. <laughs> so would you introduce yourself to us uh i'm asta uh, nikki's friend yeah long friend yeah. i am three four years now four something years. like that four years yeah, yeah we're going to same church um yeah yeah so um as that is that she's um she's a good friend and she's an amazing mother and and i think we'll be able to learn one or two things about her I hope uh, so. when it comes to <laughs> um so here we're not talking about our strengths alone we're just talking about our journey as a parent and um our strengths our weaknesses and and whatever that we don't um over the course of the year i mean as we are parenting journey so i'm going to ask a few questions from uh and then she'll be able to answer the question i think i have the question down somewhere is it on this page i think it's on that page and so um thank you for honoring this to You're do coming. this <laughs> is she not beautiful yeah so leave comments on below now to tell me that Don't. if she's beautiful or not <laughs> she's so beautiful and so we're going to ask her a few questions about her and about her parenting style and everything so and as a where you originally uh i'm from lithuania um but in ireland i am now 18 years uh we speak english only english at home uh, even Mm, I have four children, and my two first children, they were born in Lithuania, but we don't speak Lithuanian at all. We all speak English. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. So you just mentioned that you have four children, and then you have um, two in Lithuania, and then two here. Two here, Two yeah. here. So and what's it like um, having your children, uh, the two children at home? Uh, that was such a long time ago and in Lithuania at that time let's say let's say not 18 years but let's say 20 years ago in Lithuania we were just out of Soviet Union and for us we were still Soviet Union minded uh, we were very strict with our children from the start in Soviet Union to belt your child was no problem to punish your child was no problem if a little bit mislistening or something like that you can punish no problem nobody will look at you and for me it was very natural I thought that's the way to do it I thought that's the way to do it and I was parenting like that like really strictly if you will misbehave you're gonna you're gonna be punished and all like that but when I came to Ireland I was like my eyes were opened not straight away not in first year but after probably second or third year I started to see difference the way people were parenting you know the children and um, for me it was an eye-opener okay. and that time that time uh, because we're talking here about um, how we are born again Christians parenting our children before that I wasn't going to church I was fully in the world and I was understanding the way world was understanding, you know, the way to parent your children. Uh, there was no Bible uh, base parenting. There wasn't anything. It's just, uh, I just tried to be not like my mom and that's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you um, for that answering that question. Um, before going into that, I we want to know before you become a mother, what was your as I uh, aspiration? What do you aspire? What kind of mother? Um, before you become a mother, 
um, what kind of mother do you mm. aspire to be and uh, how far so far um, did you when I was yeah. a child um, my mom she never said I love you or oh, my dad um, my dad was an alcoholic and it was hard to live in the, to live and I was always dreaming when I will be a mom I always will be repeating and repeating to my children, I love you, I love you, I love you, because I didn't have that. And I knew how it's important to be assured, you know, uh, you are loved by your own parents. And I knew in my heart, you know, I was loved by my parents. But it's just uh, that word, I love, that sentence, I love you, wasn't there. And for me, that was the main goal. I thought when I will have children, I make sure to, I will let them know I love them and I will be not only not only showing but staying as well. Okay. Thank you. And like our mothers are parents those days, they don't even the they love us, expressing it in words is very, very tough it's on very them. Tough. I think I have the same thing myself. Be the only girl. I it wasn't that easy for me at all. Mm. My mom is always very, very um he has he has her own love language but she's not gonna use his mouth to she won't use her mouth to tell me that she loves me yeah but you know um yes that thing that I, I would i i'm the same mm. in that regard that when i grow up um i will tell my children how much i, I i'll show the affection yeah. to them yeah. and so um so now that you are a, a parent you had two parents uh, you have two children in lutinian and then you have two here was it stressful is which one is more stressful here having um, children here or having children back home uh, it, it's never been stressful it depends how you're gonna look at parenting how you're gonna look because um my last baby uh, she is with uh, Prada Willis syndrome is a mild disability and it's way harder but some lovely lady she told me you know God gives children right children to right parents and even I have I have four children it's never been like so hard or I never regretted you know I have four children I never regretted since day my first boy was born and uh, financially, yes, uh, money is melting all the time because <laughs> when you have children, you have no money. You have to choose money or children. But for me, there was never, ever a thought, oh, no, 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 I need, uh, I will have no children and I'll be earning and I'll be saving. For me, it was children, number one, I always wanted, always dreamt to have four children because only myself and my brother in the family. And we felt kind of, I felt kind of lonely in the family. And I thought I need more than one. And I always was dreaming inside of me for. Yeah, because you're the only, you're, yeah. you're, you're one boy and a girl. So yeah. you feel lonely. Very uh, lonely. Okay. Yes. I, I can understand that. What are your strengths as a parent? And what would you say your uh, weakness? My strength is my patience. I have lots of patience. My weakness um, I will say no, 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 no. But as long my child will be begging, I finally will give in. I won't, I, I can't, I will be like, first is no. I should stick with my no. Sometimes I will stick, but yeah. if my child is begging for something, it's like, I will give in. That's my weaknesses. And they yeah. all know that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And so, and they know how to play us when they know our weaknesses yeah. in that regard. Yeah. Um, but if you want to change anything as a parent, what would you want to change? I always, many times I will think about that. And uh, I'm just like, I would love if I would be going to church since my first child was born then they would be going together with me to church and they will get used to that uh, spiritual life. But because they didn't get used to it, the spiritual life, uh, they're not coming to church. They're not 
yet. Catholic Church is not yet born again Christians. But I just give them a choice. And uh, yeah, that's what I would love, you know, if yeah. I could do this. But so, To bring them back to, yeah. to encourage their spiritual life. Yeah. And then to get to know God more. Yeah. Um, yes. And um, thank you for that. When is your, you just mentioned something about choice. When it's, it comes to your children, do you give them choices? Do you make choice for them or you allow them to make choice for them, themselves? Even as they're growing up. Okay. Yeah. Give me an example. Exactly what you mean. Okay. So um, let's say career. Let's say mm -hmm. whoever they're choosing to be with or any choice they... Absolutely. Start. Because that's their life, not mine. Okay. Uh, and first child, uh, my first son, he is absolutely smart. And I was saying, no, 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 you're going to be a politician. You're going to be a president. <laughs> and <laughs> he's like, no, 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 mama, no, 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 no. And of course, it didn't happen. But um, I wouldn't force because I'll be reading their mental health as well how they can handle things yeah. and I always will encourage them to do what they like doing because it's, their it's life. Uh, that's the way it should be I think that's my opinion yeah it's their life it's their, their life, life not yeah. mine and they have to choose you what choose, they want to do yeah. it's just like to guide them on yeah. the way to go and or just support, like support them support them on, on the on the choice mm -hmm. uh, on the choices and as mm -hmm. much as I can then then I'm supporting yeah so um we so when you you, you mentioned something about your own parental um mm -hmm. compared to your parents um the way they treat um what would you say about the way our parents parent us and the way you are parenting or the parents mm -hmm. or the parent um parenting this i mean this 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 year, I mean, this, this season, time, this, this time of yeah. this parenting compared to the time that mm. a parent put it, which one, what would you, what's the difference and which one do you prefer? Massive difference. Okay, so would of you? Of course, our days I prefer. Okay. Back time, you know, when our parents parented us, <laughs> I'm glad I survived. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I survived because mm. not only, you know, you have to do chores, but that's it, nothing else. Mm. chores and uh, and then you will have your own free time and you will will mm. be with your friends mm -hmm. but there would be no too much talking you mm. know with parents there would be not too there you wouldn't have too much choice or relationship or choice mm. they, they will be like pushing you or saying nothing yeah and uh, it's just like uh, that time it was flat Flat parenting, let's say, you know, where yeah. very little emotions, very little of uh, affections, emotions, mm. Uh, mm. encouragement. Mm. Maybe that's in my family. Maybe there was different things in different families, mm. but I'm just all talking about my family. Mm. Mm. And for me to be a parent is now is amazing because now I'm praying for my children every day. I'm praying when they're in relationships. I'm praying, you know, what the Holy Spirit is putting into my heart. I'm just praying and I'm trusting in God. You know, they can, they will come out. They will come out. They will come out. You know, um, supported even even they're not believers, but I know they they are covered. Mm -hmm. They are covered with my mm -hmm. prayers, mm -hmm. and I know they're gonna be safe and okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, and for me is. I am a friend as well to my children because all my children they suffer from depression mm. and you can't be strict parent you have to be as in as well in in a position to talk to your children and for them to able to open up to you mm. and for me this is very important when we can talk and they open up and I can ask you know how are you doing today you know what uh, how can I help you and you know, I'll be tackling all those issues as well in my prayer time. Mm. And, and I'm so, I mean, my heart is in pain because my kids like sick with depression. 
but as well i'm glad they're talking about it i'm glad they opened about it i'm glad they not they're not afraid to tell me things you know what is happening yeah. and um, yeah yeah thank you so much for hooking up um for teaching us a bit about um parenting from your own side and I, I know that this is going to help even the younger ones coming up in the parenting styles and even to look at ourselves how we're parenting that we're not alone you know if unless you're questioning yourself or something about your parenting and then we learn one thing or the other i learned a lot today from from our guest uh, my friend asa talking to us we look at our parenting style to a parent parenting style and then we look at you know what what really cuts me there much mm -hmm. is the fact that you have relationship with your children and the children can come to you to talk to you either we want to be be, be believe it or not even especially when you have a children um i'm going to ask one thing before i continue on would you be able to mention the age of ages of your children please if you don't mind yeah <laughs> yeah 27 my 27. oldest boy yeah 21, 21. my daughter yeah. 15, 15 son and 10 my little girl yeah so she has two girls and two boys from to age 27 to 10 to 10 to 10 so we know so we can see that she has huge amount of experiences there and then she has shared few of a uh, just few of that experience our strength and our weakness and the, what I, i'm taking home from what she said is the relationship she had with her children to be able to talk um to to the you know our children should be able to relate to us in everything we mm -hmm. don't all have that that our children talk to us um, um but it's, it's a desire and it's very very important that our children should be able to open to us in in so many uh in whatever they're going to either we like it or not the youth of nowadays or children of nowadays they have a lot of mental um emotional and mental um Struggle. struggles about what is going on in the society it doesn't have to be directly from home but yes they have because they're looking for themselves they're finding their feet they want to know you know so they have a lot going on up there and they have a lot of pressure on them outside as well so be them be able to come to us and be able to talk and us being able to model why they want you how we want them to behave is very very important learning from our home how we were being parenting and learn one thing or the other from there and then bring it on the table to be able to compare and okay i'm going to do this i'm not going to do this to my children it's very very important mm. learning from our own way we've been parenting so um i can go on and on and on i don't want this video to be too long so that you can watch it and then you can always come but we can always have um a guest say um uh, ask her back here all the time anytime we want her <laughs> but for now uh, we're just going to put in a stop here if you have any question you can question write the question down on the comment uh, below and then we can come back to come and talk about this as for the camera if you're not looking at you straight away is the way we position the camera um we don't know maybe we're looking straight because this is where we're supposed oh, okay. to be looking okay. but we're looking somewhere else but just <laughs> bear with us yeah there now Sorry. and then um, hope you enjoyed this video and until our next guest we did just say thank you to our thank guests you. <laughs> our guests <laughs> now to be able to come and share you know um with us um uh a, a parenting style and hope you've been blessed if you like this video, thumbs up, leave your comments, and then ask questions. We always come back. If you want any question, please ask. We'll come back with the, with the answer very soon. Until then, on Nikki's thoughts, uh, we say thank you. God bless. Thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs> Bye.